Hey, so what is up you guys? My name is Devin and recently I've been playing a lot of Blacklight Retribution and for those who don't know what Blacklight Retribution is, it's a free-to-play first-person shooter that you can obtain on both PC and also if you have a PS4 then you can get on there which is where I'm playing it on right now and like I just mentioned it's a completely free 100% free free to play you don't have to spend a dime on this game if you don't want to but that's exactly where I'm going with this saying if I think this game is a pay to win or a fair game that where you don't really have to spend a lot of money to be good at the game and that's pretty much a theme that's been coming into a lot of free to play shooters mostly because most of the free to play games are shooters and the problem that comes to mind is that a lot of them have this pay to win motto where if you don't spend any money on the game then you absolutely are going to get smashed by people who actually do spend money on this game and like a good example of that is Battlefield Play for Free. I, I played a little bit of that and that was absolutely the most horrendous experience I've ever had with a shooter probably in a long time because the default weapons that you're given are pretty bad and you're not really given a lot either you don't because in that game you have to pay for every attachment you have to pay for every gun every gear every thing in that game is pay and the uh, in-game currency and in-game progression is so slow that it's absolutely almost impossible to do good in that game without paying some money up front and that's exactly where I want to stay about what I think about Blacklight Retribution now I played about I don't know maybe five six hours into the game I don't, maybe more but I played a good amount uh, play, tinkered around with it seeing what works and I just have to say right off the bat, this game is not pay to win. Some people might think that this game is pay to win, but from what I've played so far, I've done just fine with the default assault rifle and just using in-game currency to earn attachments for a day. And that's pretty much another thing I want to state. Uh, yes, if you want to permanently unlock weapons and permanently unlock attachments and other gear, then you do have to use what is called their Z point, which are their bot currency. You don't earn those. But I find that since it's a free to play shooter, you're not going to be playing it all the time. So maybe there will be people that play all the time. But if you don't, then you can just use your in game currency, the GP, to unlock the attachment for a day. So you can just, if you don't like an attachment or you, after that day, then you didn't lose no money. So I think that you can do great without having to spend actual cash you don't have to buy z points because i find for me personally if you do good in game and you keep playing you're gonna rack up gp and with gp once again you can buy those those one day rentals and i find that that is just good enough because by the next day i probably already earned back more than enough gp i probably already profited for the the money i spent on buying attachments for that weapon so I don't even have to worry I could just keep on buying one day rentals of these attachments and that's why I don't think it's pay to win I think you can do just fine I and I'm using the default assault rifle I haven't got to a high enough level to get to the other assault rifles but the, I am well enough able to top the leaderboards without having to buy the better weapons and if I don't top the leaderboards it's usually because of my own personal failures not because my weapon is bad or the enemies have like some massively o OP weapons because I haven't really found no OP weapons yet and that's another thing I think that if you want to go play this game and you're hesitating to, to do it because you think you're gonna get mopped by these kids that buy all these attachments and stuff with their mom's credit card I don't think you really have to worry about that I think you're gonna do just fine yes the end game leveling up system is kind of slow I will say that you will have to play a fair amount of this game to be able to rank up because I think I'm just now level 7. I played a good amount and done a lot of um, s s racking up pretty good score per game. So that is kind of slow but at the same time I don't think it's that big of a deal. I really don't. Now if you do want to spend in game money it's, it's really not even that expensive to buy some Z points. And I really think that if you want to invest in the game then that's fine. Now I don't suggest investing any more than maybe 30 to 60 bucks because then after that you pretty much just pay for a full retail game and this is not a full retail game. I think anything past 60 bucks is probably pushing it because 
for that money that you spent, you could have went out and bought a full retail shooter like Battlefield or something. So I don't think I would recommend doing that. But if you do want to put some money in it, you can. But if you don't, you're not going to be outclassed. You are. You can do just fine if you just use earn some in-game currency and use the weapons and try to level up. I think you'll do just fine. I think it's a pretty good game in general. I don't, it's not really a first impressions, but... Um, I think it's, it's a pretty good game. I think they have a nice system to where you can pay, but you don't have to pay. And I think I'm having just, a, I'm having a lot of fun even without spending a dime yet. So that's really my opinion. I don't know if you guys have played it. If you haven't played it, then once again, it's free. No risk. You can go download it for free on PlayStation Network, or you can go download it, download it off on the PC. And you can give it a try, and, t and if you like it, then you like it, you can play. You have a new game to play. And if you don't like it, then there's no risk. You didn't spend no money. You just spent a little bit of time, and you can just delete it. It's gone. So, that, that's my opinion. If you have a different opinion, if you play Black White Retribution, and you think it's a pay to win, then post your comments down below. I'd like to read your comments about what you think. And if you have any suggestions on how they should make it more fair, if you don't think it's really fair, then you can post this down below as well. But also like the video if you liked it and if you found it entertaining. Subscribe if you're not already for more content from me. Until next time guys, peace.